Once upon a time, a long time ago, a man walked through the rain and snow. He held in his hand a lightning staff. He wanted to know where to find a tree, the legendary tree of legend. That's what he wanted to know. But he couldn't even get it started, his journey, because no one knew anything. He tortured many people with the lightning staff he had. People began to see him as someone really bad. So he became the villain of villains, the one who must be defeated. But no one could defeat him because, according to his words, he was already dead, dead. Dead, 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 he was already dead. Dead, 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 he was already dead. And he didn't have a head, well he did, but it wasn't alive. Now comes the second act of the story when a boy decides to make some glory by defeating the lightning staffed man he looks and looks for an answer he can't find anything but then out of the corner of his eye he sees a paper with a nice guy drawn on it. And he talks to the guy on the paper. The guy says that he knows how to kill him. All you have to do, says the paper, is find the legendary tree of legend. So the boy goes questing through the earth, questing for the birthplace of the legendary tree of legend. He talks to every single person he knows, then he goes beyond to every single town he can find. But he can't find the answer to his question. All the people can say is they are gonna give him rejection. Cause they don't know where this blue glow tree is. It seems like no one knows this. Then one day he sees an old girl sitting on a bench. The old girl has in her hand a picture of a wench. But behind the wench in the picture, he sees that there's a blue, blue tree. And he says to the old girl, hey girl, where's that tree? She replies, I don't know where. It is, but my sister might know where it is. Go find her in the depths of the cavern of doom. Okay, the boy says to the old girl, 
He goes unto the darkness of the caverns and finds the old girl's sister. The old girl's sister says that the tree is in the forest. But the only way you'll find it is through song. He says to go to the forest and sing a loud, loud song. And you have to make sure that you make it up as you go along. So the boy walks in the forest. He's not the singing type, but he's gonna try his best to get this thing. So he opens his mouth and begins to sing. I want the tree to see me. I want to see the tree come out. Tree, I wanna see you, please. Please, please be blue. At first it seems like it's stupid and nothing happens at all. But then out of the corner of his eye again he sees a shining drawl. Drawl doesn't mean a thing in you or my own world. But in this world of this story, it means a little girl. But this little girl is different from the other little girls around. Because this girl is wearing a shiny glowing blue gown. The girl points toward a tree. The tree turns blue, and then the boy says, Yippery! I've found the clue. So he goes to the king of death, the guy with the lightning staff, and he says, Come with me to the forest, or you will be very, very gaff. Because I can't rhyme at all. But then they go on to the forest. And that's where they go. They bring the forest to them. So the old lightning man sees the blue tree. Then he calls the person who resurrected him, but he doesn't come to him. Then he remembers what he has to do. Ooh. -hoo. He picks up his lightning stuff and hits it one, two, three on the ground. The King comes back and says, hey, I'm the king, and you found the tree, thank you very much for your troubles, you can die in a grave, and so the lightning staff guy finally dies. That's the end.